Hello, my friends, and welcome to another Devotional Connection. I'm Pastor Eddie. Hey, I've got a PSA for you today, and it's really simple. I take issue with people who read devotional books about the Bible, listen to devotional connections, and listen to us talk about the Bible more than they do the Bible itself. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm an avid reader. I love to read. I have a plethora of books on my desk. I have stuff that I go through yearly, stuff that I read every couple of years, stuff, new stuff that I'm getting. Especially if I find an author that I like, I will buy all of their stuff and pour through their books. But the problem comes when I'm getting the message and information second, third, fourth, fifth hand, when I can actually have it from the source. Second Timothy chapter three, verse 16 and 17 asserts that scripture is useful for teaching, rebuking and correcting, training in righteousness and equipping for every good work. Why would I want to get that second, third, fourth source when I can go directly to the word of God himself? And the second part that I have an issue with is that very thing. I need to know what my father sounds like. I need to know his words. I need to know what he says directly from the horse's mouth. When I was a kid, we used to play the game telephone and not one time did we ever win because by the time it got about six or seven people in, the message was convoluted. The message was messed up. When you play the game telephone, you're relying on the wisdom, hearing, perspective of others. The Bible is the living word of God. We forget about the living part. It touches us wherever we are in life, wherever we're seeing, whatever we're going through. It means something different to me than it will mean to you, although it's the same scripture discussing the same thing, leading us in the same direction. But from the perspective of our lives, from our worldview, it affects us differently. God designed his word that way. I don't need a watered down version. I like reading devotionals. I like reading other people's perspective, but not in the place of reading my Bible. I will add to reading my Bible, but not in the place of it. And the other part is very simply this. God's words are the only words that come with the power to do it. I've said this a million times. God's words comes with the power to create. When God said, let there be light, light turned on from nowhere. He didn't create a sun till days later, but yet there was light. So when God says something, the power to do the words, the power to fulfill the promise comes with the words that he has said. We need to know his words. We need to know what he has said directly from the horse's mouth. I wouldn't want to hear it anywhere else. I've listened to it from others. But I've always gone back and checked what every pastor has said, even myself, up against the word of God. We cannot replace having a relationship with our father ourselves. Learn what he sounds like. Learn his voice. Learn what, he, what he's saying. You'll be confused. People will sound like him. People will say things that sound good, but it isn't him. We have to know his voice for ourselves. I can't ride someone else's coattails into heaven. I've got to know him for myself. And the best way to do that, the best way to do that is to pick up his book full of his words and read it for myself. You might find something new. You might find something that's interesting. You might find something that you never knew before. You might, you just might begin to grow your relationship with God and hear him clearer and clearer every day. Look, I'm not saying don't read devotionals. That's stupid. They're there. We putting out these devotionals, but don't do it in the place of reading your Bible. Make sure you have time to read the word of God for yourself. Hope you guys keep continue to grow. Stay blessed. Talk to you again soon.